Hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your December 2021 monthly tarot forecast. This is a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you might be able to resonate with some of these messages. So guys, I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. It does help. All right, guys, we are starting out with your main guidance or advice for the month of December, but please stick around to the end of the reading because I'm pulling you several additional guidance cards and I am looking at specific areas. All right, so you have most people are just trying to survive. That is the truth. And I believe it was Taurus who had this, this card as well. And then we also have what you give will come back. Look at that. So maybe some of you Aquarians, you could be helping someone. Maybe someone is going through a tough time, someone in particular. Um, for others, I mean, this could be you. You maybe went through it in 2021. But let's see what the cards say. For Aquarius, this is looking at the month of December 2021 for Aquarius. What does Aquarius have coming up in the month of December 2021? Aquarius. Aquarius. What does Aquarius have coming up for December 2021, please? And all of the decks that I am using, guys, they are listed below along with the links for purchasing them if you are interested. Wow, first card out, we have Judgment. Okay, let's see. Could be releasing something here. Let's see. Aquarius. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I do prefer the jumpers. At your foundation, we have the King of Cups. What does Aquarius have coming up in the month of December? Aquarius. Okay, so we do have the Hierophant. We have Strength. These cards did land sideways, so some of you may resonate more with them in the reverse. Others, uh, it's upright. Take it how it resonates. It's just a general reading. Coming up in the near future, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, so we have the King of Coins here. He is showing up in the reverse. Three of Swords. Ace of Swords. So now we just need a final outcome, which is energy that you will experience at the end of December going into the new year. And we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, so there's definitely going to be communication. Let's see the overall energy for Aquarius, the Empress. Okay, 
So this is a very specific read. So if you do not resonate, please watch your other signs. Also check out maybe uh, your weekly forecast. Let's see. The overall energy is the Empress. Wow, look at this. So we have the Empress here at the bottom of the deck with Justice. There's the Knight of Coins. So something may have been very slow moving. Uh, something moving at a snail's pace. For some of you, it could be a legal matter. Um, maybe some of you have been dealing with uh, you know, the courts or something like that. But you're seeing growth with the Empress. Is the overall energy, I mean, this is growth. It is abundance as well. Abundance does come in many forms. But the first card that you had out was was judgment. And so this is this is for some of you, wow. This is a, a legal could be a settlement offer that's coming in. Yeah, you have you have a decision to make. So uh, for some of you, this could be uh, an offer that's on the table, do you accept it and allow this thing to wrap up and, and you be able to, you know, move on and move forward with your life, uh, Aquarius, or do you want to wait it out some more? You know, that's going to be different for all of you. I mean, this could be something you're emotionally wrapped up in. So for some of for some of you, it could be like a divorce or something like that. Maybe you guys are splitting up assets and things like that. But remember, you have most people are just trying to survive and what you give will come back. The Empress is a very very loving, very nurturing, motherly energy. So it doesn't matter if you're male or female. I mean, this is the overall energy. You may have in the past, for some of you, you may have maybe judged someone harshly. Or, I mean, you could feel this way. You may feel judged. But I see a past matter coming back up here. So right at the start of the month, Something could be coming back around. For some of you, you have an opportunity to basically close the door on this. Uh, it could be like a settlement offer, something like that coming in. Some of you are being called to maybe forgive someone. There could have been someone around you that was playing with you or playing games. That's not for all of you. But for some of you, now it could be a Scorpio. If not a Scorpio, it could be a water sign energy because we have the King of Cups at your foundation. And so uh, for some of you, this is your ex-husband. You could be choosing to forgive this person. For some of you, you want to nurture this connection some more or you want to give this person a second chance. But for others, I mean, you may you may close the door. That's gonna that's gonna be different for all of you. I did see the six of swords there at the bottom of the deck, which can be you moving on. It can be for some of you, you moving on and letting go. But for others, this is you putting the past behind you. Maybe someone they could have broke a vow. They might have gave in to temptation. That's not that's not all of you. And that temptation doesn't necessarily mean cheating. You know, this could be something financial for some of you. But I feel like you want justice. I feel like you will get it, even if it's slow moving. I mean, it's coming in. For some of you, I do see a job offer. Now, you may have to make a very important decision here at the start of the month. It could be in regards to a contract or something legal. Now, for a handful of you, you may have a family with someone. 
some of you maybe want to get married. You could have been dealing with someone who maybe is afraid of commitment. Some of you may want to get married or maybe your person does. If it's not you, it could be your person. Crowning you, uh, we have the Hierophant, which can be uh, someone breaking a vow, someone not following tradition. Others, I mean, you may want a commitment or you may want to get married. There could be something going on with a Taurus. There could be something going on with a Leo, possibly a Scorpio or an Aries. But um, I feel like the energy was very slow moving. You have strength in the recent past. You could have um, kept your composure when it comes to uh, a situation. For some of you, this could be a fight. Um, yeah, for some of you, I feel like it is an argument, but for others, I just feel like you feel wronged. Um, you want someone to take ownership for how they, how they behaved. This is you knowing your worth with the Empress. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. This is you knowing your worth. Some of you may have had certain beliefs about something, but there could be an awakening. You may realize something pretty significant here. Some of you may even change your mind, if not at the start of the month, by the end of the month. I do see an apology coming in for, for some of you. But um, I, see, I see an event a celebration coming up here in the near future. I mean, we do have Christmas and New Year's coming up. This this can be some of you tying the knot. I mean, you may have been holding back from this person prior. I do see some sort of positive event coming up here in the near future. This is you also feeling financially secure. I feel like you're dealing with a king of coins in the reverse. This could be you, but uh, especially in this position, some of you, maybe you have earth in your chart, but I feel like some of you are dealing with a king of coins. Now, I often see him as the employer. I often see him as the boss. And so this could be your boss. Maybe your boss is somebody that was playing games, maybe overworking you. Maybe not following tradition or whatever it may have been in the past. I feel like a lot of you, this is a past matter something that you've been dealing with how others are viewing you we have the three of swords so you could have separated yourself from this from this person for some of you this is a marriage or this is a relationship you may have moved out or you know decided to to take a break could be from this uh king of coins I could be reading for a few of you where, especially if you're the feminine, if you resonate with the feminine, some of you, maybe maybe you bring a lot to the table. Maybe you're worth something. I mean, you could be dealing with someone who, for a few of you, you may feel used by this person. Maybe they were after your money. Maybe you have some sort of... Um, status or title that's not that's not all of you but for some of you it could be something like that for others i feel like this is this is maybe your employer or maybe your boss they did not keep their word this is somebody in a higher position that has disappointed you in some way 
or you know of course this could be you maybe you've disappointed someone maybe you sit in a position of power and you may you may have hurt someone but with this combination i do see communication this is right at the end of the month the end of the year so going into the new year you have the ace of swords and you have the page of cups upright this is positive communication this definitely can be someone cutting to the heart of the matter speaking their truth for some of you this is absolutely an apology and for those of you that have a legal matter that's ongoing i mean this can be a win this can be a victory maybe some of you were married maybe you have a child or children with somebody and maybe they were not paying child support whatever it is if you were separated from your family if you were not talking to someone in your family i do see forgiveness i do see you guys communicating again maybe somebody is going through it you may be the king of cups you could be dealing with a king of coins this person may have Taurus, they may have Earth in their chart, or sometimes I read the King of Coins as someone who's, you know, in a position of power. Okay. Yeah, so you're afraid of getting hurt again. You're wounded, you're hurt, you're healing from the past. Let's take a look at this King of Coins. So they may have been inconsistent for those of you where this is on the love front or you know if this is your employer maybe they promised you something maybe they promised that you were going to move up uh you would get that promotion or that raise whatever maybe they haven't come through they haven't kept their word for many of you this is this is justice coming in there may have been an injustice but this is okay yeah so some of you you feel used someone could have maybe taken an opportunity from you something like that there is this heavy karmic energy here so if someone did you wrong i mean justice is going to come in at some point even if you don't see it there's heavy karmic energy here there's also change coming in i mean we have the wheel, we have the ace of cups, we have the lovers, eight of wands, four of wands again, king of swords, two of swords, the chariot, the world. So uh, you Aquarian males, I mean, you may be saying no. You may need more information before you move forward with something. You need more information. But this is this is communication coming in. This is things outside of your control that are that are happening. This wheel is turning and so most people are trying to survive and what you give will come back to you. So keep that in mind. Empress energy. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, someone, um, or this is you. I mean, on the career front, you could have been trying to manifest something new. You may have been a little bit in a hurry or for some of you, possibly a little inconsistent prior or hesitant. Maybe you didn't take action um with something because you needed more information this is also you um feeling wounded still so your heart is still healing and i feel like you're afraid of getting hurt again maybe something not working out we definitely see you very guarded some of you are playing a win when it comes to this ace of coins but let's pull you some additional guidance cards. Aquarius, additional guidance for Aquarius, please. There could be a, a family situation. There could be a situation with a, a mother and child. That's not for all of you. 
could be someone at a distance. And I also am getting this very protective energy as well. So it could be someone very protective of you, or maybe you're going to be very protective of somebody else. Let's see. Yeah, wow. Like I mentioned right at the start of the reading, someone may want your forgiveness or maybe you're being called to forgive someone. That's quite interesting. I don't think I've ever pulled this card from this deck. And at the bottom we have reflect on your priorities and this is your card, last quarter moon in Aquarius. So we see the ocean here. We see the ocean here, and then here in this card, look at this. So, something is definitely trying to wrap up. A cycle is trying to complete, basically. Um, it may be time to release the past, forgive someone, so you can move forward. I feel like there's this cleansing energy that's coming in. For some of you, this is justice coming in. Someone may be righting a wrong. All right, let's focus on career and finances for Aquarius, please. The Empress is abundance. And I do see you feeling more secure, but I feel like there was some sort of heartbreak or loss prior and it may have been recent for some of you. So I feel like you're afraid. You're afraid of getting hurt again. You're afraid of another loss, especially, you know, if something was recent. It's like, I'm not ready. So there's this fear, you know, there's this fear. But I do see growth and I do see abundance. You had that Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So these are all upright. I feel like we will look at all of them. All right, let's look at your love life, Aquarius. See the blues here, look at the blues. You have this beautiful aqua color and then all of this water. There's this cleansing energy that's coming in. So there was some, some drama, some stuff that went on in the past. Maybe someone was not doing the right thing. But I feel like you're moving on. Some of you, you could be doing the right thing. I mean, it depends on who you are, your situation. Maybe someone was trying to manipulate you. Or maybe they were, and this is you moving on. You could be blocking this person out. Some of you may be blocking a third party or just blocking someone who hurt you. Some of you may be moving towards the new on the love front. Okay, let's see. Looking at Aquarius's love life. which, you know, the Empress is you knowing your worth. And some of you, you could be attracting love. And if you are the feminine, you could be attracting your masculine. Wow, 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 wow. This is pretty nice, Aquarius. Let's see what sign you're dealing with. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces. I do have uh, strong Pisces coming through here for some of you, Scorpio. All right, who is Aquarius dealing with in December, please? Pisces, look at that, Pisces, Pisces. And we have Gemini. So a Gemini could be significant. This person may have Pisces and Gemini in their chart. We did see that King of Swords um, at the bottom of the other deck. And so, I mean, some of you could be dealing with someone who has both in their chart. But full moon and Pisces, full moons are all about completion. So forgive. 
It's time to just put the past behind you. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You could be attracting someone, especially with this Empress energy. And then a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Look at this. So, I mean, this is going to resonate with all of you differently. For some of you, this is you attracting your person. And you could have just went through some stuff with somebody else. And this is, this is you maybe loving yourself, healing yourself. And, I mean, that person could be coming in, your person... A new person could be could be coming in and they may come in when you least expect it when you're just enjoying yourself loving your life they could be trying to manifest you in their life you both could be trying to manifest uh, love at this time and then for others of course this could be someone from your past someone that maybe you are separated from your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention so it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important you already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. Look at this. This is looking at career and finances. So if you're trying to make more money or feel more financially secure, if you're trying to move up within your career, whatever it is, this is you needing to prioritize and some of you do need to block certain people or you know block out those distractions whatever that may be turn off your cell phone turn off the TV some of you may actually work from home you have to learn how to block out this uh, these distractions so you can actually get maybe more work done savings as you consistently save for your future your future is saved you do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds this is part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose so some of you i mean you're doing what you're meant to be doing and you do need to block out distractions you will be able to save more money when you do that and also you need to have that abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, and think and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. So needing to have a positive mindset, needing to have that abundance mindset. And that's how you will bring in more abundance. Okay, but yeah, some of you are attracting love into your life and it's because you're loving yourself. Some of you are being encouraged to forgive. Yeah, forgive even if you're not reconciling with someone. Forgive so you can move on. Because look at what's at the bottom of the deck. We have healing. And it says, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. I, I do feel like this is an apology coming in. If someone was playing games, if someone wronged you in some way, I feel like you have a decision to make as far as you giving them a second chance. But, all right, Aquarius, I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. All right, guys. Happy